Hey guys, we're coming down to our last few days of Christmas with Chris. I hope you've enjoyed it. And today I want to look at a passage in Matthew uh, chapter 1, verse 24. And this is what it says. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. You know, when I think of a word that kind of describes Joseph, I think of the word courage. It took courage for him to uh, go ahead and marry his fiance uh, after he knew that he had not been the one who had impregnated her. It took courage to actually go through the whole process, to be one who was honorable, uh, to make sure that the baby was taken care of. And we see that in this text today. That after he hears from the angel of the Lord, he has the courage to say, yeah, I'll step up, I'll be the man, I'll follow through. A few weeks ago, I went and saw the movie Courageous, uh, a movie that came out that dealt with the whole issue of being a good father. And going into the movie, I didn't think it would affect me very much because I felt pretty good about my fathering skills. And the movie was just tremendous, and I'd encourage all of our parents, and especially our fathers, uh, to go see that movie or get it on DVD if you haven't yet. But I left from uh, the movie theater, and I was driving home by myself, and I got this whisper, you can do more as a father. And all of a sudden, I just felt this sense of conviction and courage to uh, do something a little bit more courageous, even in my parenting, which I felt like I was doing pretty well. I'm just wondering today, what do you need some courage in? Is it with a relationship? Is it with your parenting skills? Is it with uh, confronting a coworker? Where in your life do you need courage? Because just as the angel of the Lord turned and said to Joseph, do not be afraid. He turns to you and says, do not be afraid today and gives you whatever courage you need. So be courageous today, just like Joseph was. And whatever that area is that you need courage in, ask God and he'll provide it for you. We'll talk to you guys later.